What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in risk global domination. A daily release on YouTube, doing weekday streams on Twitch. And if you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. We're playing round three. The Kill Pete Open 2. This isn't my group. But it is Mr. Wojestarks. All right. Playing against N9. There it is. So you got the players. Playing against Gurney. Tanaja, the green player. Final flight of Romania. 26,681. Uh, 278 gone, 117 and 154. Playing against the black player is Alwyn Moonflare, an expert. USA flag, 2288 hours play gone, 123 and 349. The red player is Great Dixon, USA flag, currently sitting at Master 292 with 113 and 158. Playing against Black Death, flying the flag of the Bahamas, the white player, top grandmaster. Look at that. Really good uh, SP there. 585 hours gone, 403 and 7. Nine. And it looks like we are waiting for just one more player. Play as purple? No, I want to play as uh, I want to play as blue there. Spudley? Do it. Okay. Doing it. Doing we're playing as purple for Spud. That one's for you, buddy. I just went live on Twitch. The 183 of my friends hanging out. KPO2, round three, the biggest risk tournament in risk history. There really isn't anything left for me to prove, guys. There's nothing I can do in this game that I haven't already done. So just here, trying to have a good, trying to have a good fun game of risk with some friends. You know, what can I say? Pete sitting at 22 points. We had a great round one. We had a dog shit round two. It was pretty much like the game decided. There's no chance you're winning game two, Pete. We want you on the back foot this tournament, which fair enough. Your luck, your luck has to run out sometime. Is this a 90 second turn timer? Settings? Round two. On a map he hates, Kyle put us on Troy. 70% domination. Blizzards, fog and portals are off. Alliances are on. Auto set of fixed card, medium AI, 90 second turn, alliances, automated, balanced, blitz, dice. I gotta say, I like these settings a whole lot, but they do tend to be a low score round. So if you can run the 70, you're gonna run the 70. Um, ideally, you want two separate positions. Ideally, you want them both to be generating additional troops. You set early if you can. You have a set on. Uh, three, you take it. You don't want to be the fish. You don't want to be sitting there getting uh, getting eaten. Oh boy! Oh boy! Sure would love a good round. All right, let's see how uh, the final seat gets resolved, and we shall go into battle momentarily. All right, folks. Troy Fix 70. Let's just focus. Let's just play our best. Now I have a Troja start. Can I bully white out of here? Go for this or this. I don't think we go for that, but maybe. Mm, this is this is quite challenging. Okay. 
I don't see how I get a turn one bonus. Green gets one, yellow doesn't. I don't know where else I could have gone. Okay, red gets a turn one bonus. White takes a plus two. Okay, I'm going to be on the left-hand side. Mm, unlucky roll. Black is asking to take a plus five. All right, here's the bonuses in Troy. You got North Town is four, West Town is four, City Markets is six, South Town is three, Temple and Sandgate are two, Lower Town is five, Upper Town is eight, Rich Housing and Scholars are three, Troja is five, Labor Housing is five, and Step Housing across the bottom is plus four, if you can hold it. Yeah. Okay, green wants to move into that bonus. I like that for green. It's fine. This connects, right? I can fortify this in without having to attack with it, right? Most steps out, yeah. Purple says thanks. I think that three connects, but I don't know for a fact. Um, th I think, we. I mean, obviously we prioritize taking the bonus. I can, yeah, lose a troop is not good. Lose a troop right there is really, really bad. Okay, so we're going to sit here. We're going to hope that this three fortifies that way. It does. Yeah, yeah so that's friendly to green, because that's the bonus green's trying to take. So I expect green to move out before my next turn. Yellow can see that I'm trying to hit it. So we're going to have two plus threes. No, we're plus three and plus four. A uh, plus three and plus four ain't bad. Um, as long as I can maintain at least one of these in the top right.
Okay, so Red wants this. I think everything is going to be super good neighbor here. like that for white black tries to put ye push yellow out of this white tries to push yellow out of that so both of those guys have plus twos they kind of need to expand yeah where does black go here ah i see it goes down into that takes it black can be getting plus seven i'll be also on plus seven okay turn three green is going to work on this but not finish this turn and hopefully move the three out, letting me take my second bonus on turn three, which is quite good. I'll have two bonuses and uh, an exterior position, which, frankly, I'm, I'm very happy with. That's pretty much all you need. And then you just have to have, <clears throat> you know, good play and let things go the right way. Oh my god, I hit that three. I'm sure he knows. Yeah. Similarly, the yellow two. Like, I'm sorry, I have to hit your territory. Yellow also sees. Yeah. Okay. Put some troops back there. I like. Good play. Really good play. You want troops over there. Me, me too, man. Ooh! But he adds in the white bonus. He adds in the white bonus, he doesn't roll it down, and he doesn't let the two out. Force me to hit a two, I don't blame you. Too much for that. That was a troop. Okay. Okay. So, who's going to have what? Um, white's going to smoke this yellow pocket. So, yellow's going to be in two places. Maybe three. Green is going to have this and this, which is plus nine. Assuming they go for it. Black is going to have this and this, which is plus seven. White is going to have this and this, which is also plus seven. Plus six. Yeah. And red takes plus eight on the third turn. How are we doing for cards? No set on three. All right. Okay. Turn four. Is anyone the fish here? No, this game goes quite a bit until the tension breaks. Turn four, I think it's 47 to take. Let me just make sure of that. I'll start counting when it looks like it's relevant. Yep, good play for green. Where do they put the stack? Ooh, okay, they're going to be ready to run fairly quickly. 67.7. Okay, and yellow sets early. So yellow's going to clean out some of Troja. Yeah, 47 to take. 
Okay, yellow sits early. Uh, what do we do back there? That's where we're getting our cards for a while. I could play into a middle position too. Don't hate that at all. I think having a middle position is extremely useful. This board position is really good for taking a run after someone fucks up or maybe getting a kill. If it's fed. Set on three. Set on four we got. Okay. Can we make a kill? Three positions is even better. Because now yellow trades up here with me. In kind of like a circle, semicircle thing. Happy to be getting plus seven, that's fine. Ooh, white wants troops up there too. Uh huh. Maybe I don't get cards for very long. Yeah. Does black have cards? Red's only card is a black two. I'm pretty sure. Well, maybe they get one in the middle here. Unless somebody smokes that. Everyone's being excessively good neighbor. And black has a car has a trade on three. They do knock the yellow two, so yellow will knock the black two, and then both of those players will be in two positions. Is green getting to start? We need thirteen. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, yellow hits the black too. Okay. Big punchers. I don't hate big punchers. I have enough to retaliate if anyone fucks with me. Try and take the least offensive card possible from the middle. Reasonably good lines on the red kill. So red misses set? No, red sets on six. Good. Reasonably good lines on the yellow kill, too. We are in the troop lead. Lucky. Lucky us. Okay, so green's at 48. Does red go for the green kill? No. No chance. Me putting a massive stack in the middle of the board. I don't know if anyone's seen this in practice or not. Um, but this territory is one of the coolest territories in the entire game. It touches one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And in a fixed 70 game where runs matter, there's almost no territory on this board that's more important, right? You gum up the entire trading zone. You ensure your future of cards. You maintain access to 70 lines um, in all directions. It's a really, really good spot to put a huge stack on.
Okay, turn six. Green sets last. They survive. Yellow has the fewest troops. Yellow only getting plus four. Inoffensive card. And green now in the lead at 72. Cool. It was very nearly out of cards up there. Do I give him one? Yes, I definitely give him one. 69 troops, amazing. <laughs> it was meant to be, folks. The power of the 69 stacks compels you. If anyone had... Yeah. If anyone had dabs, now's your time, folks. A little dab will do you. That's what I always like to say. All right, so we give yellow a card here. We pull that back just a touch. <laughs> Thank you for the bits there. 69 bits. Okay, I don't think that fucks anyone. Does it fuck red, maybe? Ugh, damn it. No, red gets... See, this is this is what I, I do. So red gets a card, yellow gets a card, white gets a card. Um, I didn't want yellow to have to hit a green three, so that should be favorable to yellow. Yellow should see that as a friendly move. Okay, red lines up... On a break line here? No, they hit off the six. Yeah. They hit off the six. Good. So everyone should see that as friendly, we hope. It was the friendliest thing I could think to do, which is usually how I like to play Risk. Okay, so <laughs> Red's got a 43 puncher. Oh, baby. Set. We do not have a set on three. We are at 68 troops. So we are second highest troop total in the game. Not really the fish. And now yellow has to hit a three anyway to slice. So he either hits this three or this three. If he hits that three and comes down, um, then he cannot get a card future. Does white take it? No. This I've never understood. I don't know if you guys have been seeing a lot of this in practice. This seems like... Um, it doesn't help you not lose the game, and it doesn't help you win the game. Why are people doing this? What is, what is the thinking behind that? Right, just creating some board meat to push through? I think you still lose, right? You don't have punching stacks when you need them. Yes, black and a big puncher. Okay, green sets, gets a 10 set on three in the second sequence. Okay, now yellow's cards are even more limited. Okay. Double break. No, this is a this is a failed 70 run attempt. Okay, he's gonna he's going for it and he fails the run. Maybe he gets it. Do we think he gets it here? Let's see. Yeah, 50. He gets it. GG. That is that is game, folks. <laughs> game over. See what I mean, though? Those stacks do fuck all. They don't stop anything. They don't stop this from happening. Yep, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed, folks. I hope you're having fun with the tournament. I really do.